Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is Multiply Using Expanded Form. This is lesson 4-4 in our textbook. Don't forget all your lessons, all of them, can be found at MrMathLog.com. Just make sure you go to your fifth grade link. It's way over there on the right when you go to Mr. Math Log. Okay, there's our common core strand and our question is, uh, how can we use expanded form and place value to multiply decimals and whole numbers? So we have a few examples in all of this right here. All right, so here's one, you guys. A day on Jupiter is called a Jovian day. The length of a day on Jupiter is just 9.8 Earth hours. That's interesting, isn't it? So how many Earth hours are there in 46 Jupiter days? All right, what we're going to do is multiply 46 times 9.8. So we're going to use a model with some rectangles here. Okay, so here's our model right here with some rectangles right here, and we're going to use the expanded form. 46 is equal to 40 plus 6, okay, so here it is, 40 and 6 right here. You see what I'm doing? And then 9.8 is equal to 9 plus 0.8, so up here I'll go 9 plus 0.8 right there. All right, so in this model now, we can go ahead and multiply to find the areas of each section. Remember, the area of a rectangle is just... Um, length times width or base times height. So let's go ahead and do this right here. Okay, so 4 times 9 is 36. So 40 times 9 is 36 with a 0, so it's 360. So here we did 4 times 9 is 360 right there. Now I left a space right there. Here's my 40 times 9. I left a space because this decimal is probably going to get one of the decimals either on this one or this one right here or maybe both right there. All right, let's do uh, 40 times uh, 0.8. All right, I kind of did this over here. 4 times 8, we know it's 32. So 40 times 8 is 320. So if we go backwards, 40 times 0.8, it goes back to 32. So it's equal to 32. This area is equal to 32. This times this is 32. So there's 32 right there. Okay, 6 times 9 is 54. Let's plug that in right there. And then uh, 6 times 0.8. 6 times 8 is 48, so 6 times 0.8 is 4.8. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add up all these partial products right here. I've already carried down, carried down the decimal right here. Here's that 0.8 right here. So let's go ahead and add 4 plus 4 plus 2 is 10. So we're going to put a 0 down there and carry the 1 up there. Okay, 1 plus 6 is 7, plus uh, 3 is 10, plus 5 is 15. So we'll put the 5 here and carry a 1 up here, okay? And then now we just add 1 plus 3, we get uh, the 4 right there, so 450.8. All right, let's always answer the question right here. So there are 450.8 Earth hours and 46 uh, uh, days on Jupiter. Wow. All right, what if we wanted to find the number of Earth hours and 125 days on Jupiter? How could we model um, uh, this change right here, okay? Well, we can uh, expand the 125 to be 100 plus 20 plus 5, and so this would give us three lengths on a rectangle. 9.8 is 9 plus 0.8. So here it is right here. Here's the 100 plus 20 plus 5. Here's 9 plus 0.8, and we just go ahead and start multiplying. 100 times 9 is 900. 100 times 0.8 is 80. Okay, 20 times 9 is is uh, 180. 20 times 0.8 is 16. 5 times 9, 5 times 0.8 is 4. Then we add up those partial products, and we get uh, 1,225. So there are 1,225 Earth hours and 125 days on Jupiter. Okay, so let's try another one. We're going to use place value patterns on this problem here. A day on the planet Mercury lasts about 58.5 Earth days. So how many Earth days are there in 14 days on Mercury? So we're going to do uh, place value patterns to multiply 14 times 58.6. All right, so one way to do this, you guys, is to uh, change this decimal factor to a whole number right here. So instead of 58.6, just kind of think, if I multiply that times 10, it's going to move the decimal over one place to the right. So it becomes 586. Then we'll just go ahead and multiply this, and we'll just have to remember we multiplied it uh, times 10, so we're going to have to take that, that part off at the end. Okay, so when we multiply the 4 through, 4 times 6 is 24, there's my 24. Okay, 4 times 8 is 32, plus 2 is 34, so carry the 3, and then finally 4 times 5 is 20. Plus the 3 is 23. Okay, now I'll multiply the 1 through. Oh, we got to carry the 0 down because this is in the 10s. We're multiplying this 110. 
So there's that 0 for the 10 right there, and then multiply that 1 through, we get that. Okay, we're going to add those up, and that's going to give us this answer. So whatever this answer is, it was, this answer is times 10 of that guy right there. So let's go ahead and undo that, because we want to get this decimal back involved right there. So we're going to go ahead and multiply it times 0.1 now. And all that's going to do is move the decimal back to the where we started, 58.6. So we're just going to take this answer right here by multiplying it by 0.1. That just moves that decimal over right there. So we get 820.4. All right, let's uh, not forget to answer the question. So there are 820.4 Earth days and 14 days on Mercury. Wow. Okay, what if we uh, rewrite the problem as 10 plus 4 instead of that 14, 10 plus 4 times 58.6 and use the distributive property to solve. Explain how this is similar to our model using that. Okay, so the distributive property, I have arrows in the next click, so so if I multiply these guys through, so, uh, so here I have uh, 58.6 times 10, I did it over here, well times 10 just moves that decimal over there, right there. And then when I multiply 58.6 times uh, 4, I get 234.4. And then when I add those guys, we get the same answer, 820.4. So by using the distributive property, we multiplied by 10, and that helped us with uh, that decimal value right there. It was kind of slick. All right, let's try this. Let's find the product. We're going to find the product in two different ways. Here we'll use a model with rectangles. Here we'll use the place value pattern and move that decimal over two places to the right and multiply. Okay, so let's do one at a time. So... This was the first one here, so 52 is 50 plus 2, 0.35 is point, uh, 0.3 plus 0 0.05, so we're going to get these uh, rectangles right here. Here's 50 plus 2, here's 0 0.3 plus 0 0.05, and then we'll just go ahead and multiply. This times this gets us 15. 5 times 3 is 15, so when we've got it times 0.3, uh, 50 times 0.3 gets us uh, 15, okay? And then 50 times 0 0.05 is going to get us 2.5. Okay, 5 times 5 is 25. Well, this would make it 250, but then this makes it move back two places, so we get 2.5. Okay, 2 times 0.3 is 0.6, and then finally 2 times 0.05 is 0.1. So we add all those partial products up, and we get 18.2. Okay, so 52 times 0.35 is 18.2. All right, let's try this other one. We'll use place value patterns, okay? So that 9.18, uh, if we just kind of mentally multiplied by 100, it becomes 918, and then we multiply these guys right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and multiply the 6 through. So when we multiply the 6, we get that, and then we multiply the 1 through, and then we add those together, and we get that. So this answer times 100 equals this. So what are we going to do? Well, we've got to move the decimal back two places which means we're going to multiply it times 0 0.01. Okay, so here we go. Uh, place the decimal back in. So times 0 0.01 just means move it two places to the left. So we'll take this answer and move it two places to the left. It's right here. Go 1, 2. So we get 146.88 right there. Okay, all right. I hope that, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. And if you guys would, would you click like on this video? That helps encourage me. Take care, everybody. Hope you're having a great year.